Treasury Secretary Stephen Nutchen and U.S. Treasurer Yavida Karamza are now on the money, literally, and Nutchen's wife couldn't appear prouder. The two officials took a tour of the Bureau of Engraving and Printing on Wednesday to see firsthand the production of new $1 bills, the first currency that will bear their signatures, but Mrs. Nutchen stole the show. Nutchen, 54, was joined by his second wife Louise Linton, 36 donned dramatic black leather gloves and a $2,250 long leather skirt on the indoor tour. In August Linton posted an Instagram picture of herself and new hubby Nutton stepping out of a taxpayer-funded plane during his official visit to Fort Knox. That wouldn't have been a problem, of course, except for Linton's questionable decision to segue from the standard cheerful hashtags to a systematic name drop of all of the brands in her outfit. Great hash day trip to hash Kentucky. She wrote, according to New York Magazine journalist Yash Rali. Hash nicest hash people hash beautiful hash countryside hash raw and Murat pants hash Tomford Sunnies hash Hermes scarf hash Valentin or Oxtude heels hash Valentino. She concluded with a perfunctory looking hash U.S.A. apostrophe. That didn't sit well with Instagram user and mother of three Jenny 29 who commented, glad we could pay for your little getaway. Hash deplorable. And things went downhill from there. Cute. Kissing face emoji, aw. Did you think this was a personal trip? Asked Linton, who had just concluded a Europe-trotting honeymoon with Nutchen. Adorable. Do you think the US government paid for our honeymoon or personal travel? Lolalol. Have you given more to the economy than me and my husband? continued the minor TV and movie actress whose husband's net worth was estimated by Forbes to be more than $500 million. Either as an individual earner in taxes or in self-sacrifice to your country? I'm pretty sure we paid more taxes toward our day trip than you did, she added, the quote marks around trip being hers, despite the fact that she had hashtagged hash day trip in her initial comment pretty sure that the amount we sacrifice per year is a lot more than you'd be willing to sacrifice if the choice was yours. Arm flex emoji, kissing face emoji, she continued. Linton, who grew up in a castle in Scotland, then told the mother of three, you are adorably out of touch. She then used a heart eyes emoji before writing, with no apparent irony, thanks for the passive aggressive nasty comment. Afterwards she offered a contrite apology and briefly set her Instagram to private. The fracas hasn't put a damper on her accompanying her husband to work. As for the new bills, Nutchen's signature is decidedly more legible than that of his predecessor Jacob Lou. Lou had handwriting that was so sloppy that former President Barack Obama once joked that unless he made his signature more legible, it might debase the currency. Caranza and Nutchen examined sheets of the $1 bills at the Bureau's Washington printing plant. The currency will be shipped to Federal Reserve regional banks around the country, and the new bills are expected to go into circulation in December. Both Treasury officials provided 10 sample signatures, from which one was chosen for government engravers. Signatures of Treasury secretaries have been appearing on U.S. currency since 1914. During his appearance to examine the new currency, Nutchen did not address the issue of whether the Trump administration will reverse a decision made by the Obama administration to replace Andrew Jackson, who currently appears on the $20, with Harriet Tubman, the 19th century African American abolitionist. During last year's presidential campaign, President Donald Trump criticized the move as pure political correctness, while praising Jackson, the nation's seventh president. Asked about the possibility of reversing the decision to put Tubman on the $20, Nutton in September had said that the major focus was on improving security features to thwart counterfeiters and that the final designs were very far in the future. The next bill scheduled for redesign is the $10. It will not be released until 2026. Previously Linton was accused of lying in her 2016 memoir about a volunteering trip to Zambia. She wrote how her dream gap year turned into a nightmare when she had to flee armed rebels from the nearby Democratic Republic of the Congo. But angry Zambians claimed her story is untrue and there are no records of any such invasions. invasions.